Hello viewers, this video is the second part for vitamin C analysis which represents the details about the instrumental analysis using HPLC. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. We have fragmented the video into six steps. Like as mobile phase, standard and instrument preparation, vitamin C analysis, chromatogram analysis and calculation. We need a balance machine, computerized HPLC system, membrane filtration unit, sonicator bath, orthophosphoric acid, metaphosphoric acid, L-ascorbic acid, potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate anhydrous and deionized water. Let's prepare the only mobile phase 3 millimolar potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate solution. Take about 200 ml deionized water into a 500 ml volumetric flask. Add 1.75 ml orthophosphoric acid into the flask. Swirl the flask to mix the content. Take weight of 0.204 gram potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate crystal. Transfer the potassium dihydrogen orthophosphate into the flask. Swirl the flask to mix the content. Add enough water to make the final volume of 500 ml. Now sonicate and degas the prepared solution for 10 minutes using ultrasonicator bath. After sonication, filter the solution using membrane filter of pore size 0.2 micrometer. Mobile phase is now ready. The mobile phase is kept in the C channel of the HPLC system. Now we will prepare standard solution of vitamin C. Take weight of 10 mg L-ascorbic acid.
transfer the L-ascorbic acid into a 100 ml volumetric flask. Add 50 ml of 3% metaphosphoric acid solution. Swirl the flask to mix the content. Now sonicate the prepared solution for 10 minutes using ultrasonicator bath. After sonication, fill the flask up to the mark with 3% metaphosphoric acid solution. One hundred ppm vitamin C standard is now ready. Let's go for the instrument preparation. Instrumental conditions are shown in the display, so let's set the HPLC system accordingly. This is the HPLC machine connected with the computer. This is auto sampler for the injection of sample. This is the column compartment and the C18 column is connected with it. This is the UV VIS detector chamber and this is the data acquisition software. Chromatographic conditions are shown in the display. We must ensure these conditions before the analysis of vitamin Let's make the instrument ready. Turn on the HPLC instrument and open the data acquisition software in the computer. Connect pump module. Auto Sampler, Column Oven, and Detector Chamber. We kept mobile phase in C channel. So, set the flow of C channel as 100%. Set the flow rate at 0.5 ml per minute. Purge the flow if needed. Wash Prime Syringe. Wash buffer loop. Wash needle externally. Turn the UV lamp on. Set the wavelength at 248 nm for vitamin C analysis. Keep the temperature control off to analyze the sample at ambient temperature. Now we are ready for vitamin C analysis. Go to data option. Create a sequence. Save the sequence by the test name. Now we have to create an instrument method for this analysis. Set the runtime at 10 minutes. Write the name of the mobile face at C channel. Remove the equilibrium stage. Now set the flow rate and flow percent during the runtime.
temperature control is not needed to set. Set the UV wavelength at 248 nm if needed. The instrument method is created successfully. Review the instrument method if you want. Click on save icon and save the instrument method by the test name. Now select the newly created instrument method in the sequence. Now create a processing method. Select the newly created processing method in the sequence. Now select the instrument method and processing method for all the tests in the sequence. Rename the first test name as standard 100 ppm. Rename the second and third test name as sample 1 and 2. Delete the third test if you have only one sample to analyze. Keep the injection volume at 20 microliter and keep the status idle. Save the sequence. Add the sequence to queue. Go to the queue and click on Ready Check. If the Ready Check result shows successful, then click on Start to start the instrumental analysis of vitamin C. You can see first test status is running. Auto sampler is taking 20 microliter vitamin C standard for the injection from the position of RA1. Go to the UV section to watch the online plot. Here we can watch the detector response in live. This is the highest and largest peak at our target time of 6.3 minutes. Let's open the sequence to see the chromatogram. This is the vitamin C 100 ppm standard peak. Peak area and height is shown below. First test is done. Now the second test is running. Auto sampler is taking 20 microliter sample solution for the injection. Go to the UV section to watch the online plot of our sample. We are looking for the detector response at our target time of 6.3 minutes. We have got a small peak at 6.3 minutes. Let's open the sequence to see the chromatogram.
vitamin C analysis is done. Now we will analyze the chromatogram. Open the sequence. You can see the peak of vitamin C 100 ppm standard at 6.3 retention time. Note the area for using it in the calculation. In case of the sample, you can see a peak at the same position of standard, so this peak can also be considered as vitamin C. Note the area of vitamin C peak of sample. Let's calculate the vitamin C concentration in our tested sample. Sample weight W is 2.79 grams. Final sample volume V is 100 ml. Vitamin C standard concentration C1 is 100 ppm. Area of 100 ppm vitamin C standard A1 is 2020521669. Area of vitamin C in the sample A2 is 19363.261. Now solve the equation 2 for determining the vitamin C concentration in the sample. Let's calculate the dilution factor by solving the equation 1. Now solve the equation 2 for the determination of vitamin C concentration in our tested sample. By solving the equation 2, we got the vitamin C of our tested sample is 343.46 ppm.